informative and humble presentation. <laughs> but uh, uh, if there's questions for the commission, would you state answer those? <laughs> we, Commissioner, Commissioner Cox. Cox. Speak, speak a little French here. <clears throat> It's not one particular thing. It's uh, it's a combination of of all of a lot of things. It's the uh, it's it doesn't have the same habitat as the places we think have better habitat. Well, I know it's I know it's the latitude and I know it's the habitat, but you said you might need those okay. fish. Oh, I, I don't understand why you might need those fish. If it turns out that some of the like Chickamauga, for example. Um, <clears throat> Is all back crosses, and we we find out down the road that the back crosses don't grow as well, but we're still putting putting Florida bass in there. As we if we as we've seen the F1, the pure F1 Florida bass, which is a cross between a pure Florida and a pure Northern, does better than than any of them. They do better than the, the probably the back crosses. That's what the fishermen are catching. We may be in a situation at Chickamauga where there are no more Northern largemouth bass. We may have to stock Northern largemouth bass in there too to to provide some fish for the pure Florida's to breed with to get that pure flo that pure hybrid again. And you wouldn't stock those from the hatchery. You'd go up and you'd shot 100,000 fish well, no, and I'm take not, no. them out of hick old hickory. Absolutely not, but we may need a source of fish. We may have to go up there to get our brood fish, and we know those will be pure. That's, ju it's one, that's just one reason. It's not the entire reason. It was actually below the line. I was just wondering why you didn't include it. Is that uh, Pickwick? It, oh, it was north of, I guess, Nick and Jack, and north Oh, okay. Of that's uh, that's Tim's Ford Lake, probably. Okay. Uh, Tim's Ford Lake is. We just don't feel like it has a habitat. It's a tributary reservoir. It has they do have drawdowns. It's a the habitat's not there. It's a little bit different. The Florida water bass quality. Need, need more of a eutrophic lake with a lot of structure and habitat. To right. That's what we're looking at. Okay. And Tim's Ford doesn't really meet okay. that. Are there any other questions for Chief Wilson and the commission? Oh, one more. What was that last dollar figure that we spent? No, not Anglers. Uh, Anglers spend, okay. Yeah, Anglers spend. It was a Annual basis with a B billion. B, oh yes, did I say million? It's billion. Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Any other questions? All right. Is that your? Are you finished with your presentation? Yeah. One one thing we're uh, we're going to try to start this year. Uh, by the way, we're, it's not something we're going to put off for a couple years. We're going to, like I said, we've made arrangements with uh, at least a arrangements on paper with and, and by phone with Florida and, and Texas and Louisiana to get some fries. So if we can work everything out, uh, we will start stocking. And one thing I didn't say is that um, there's a possibility we won't get all the fingers that we need. And if we do that, we'll probably put them on a priority basis. And we have yet to, to rank where we would, what a priority one would be, which lake would that be a priority two and beyond. But we're gonna work on that. But that's, that's if everything, all the stars line up and we get all the fish we want and we get all the fish we need, that's kind of where we're going. And, and one other thing too, I mentioned the state park lakes. I've not talked, we've not talked with the state parks people yet. They may decide that that's something they don't want to do, but we're going to meet with them and, and present our proposal. I, I feel sure they will we'll probably like what we're proposing, but I haven't, we haven't met with them yet, so we don't know how they're going to react. Commissioner Cox? Yeah, I don't have a question. I've got a comment, I, and I appreciate what the work y'all did on this. I, everybody here knows that, that we've spent the last year and a half talking about licenses and budgets and and, and we need money, and, and, and I think everybody here knows that fishing, fishing has got more upside to increasing participation than anything we do. And Thank you. Uh, so, well, it's the truth, and I think, you know, it, 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 there's a lot more access to, I think, and, and it's just got more upside. So, so my, my comment and my hope is that that because of that, this is this will have a sense of urgency, and I think that the monies, uh, Mr. Budget Chairman Cannon, I think the monies in this is more of an investment, and the faster we can get it done and prioritizing hatchery space, we've got 
several hundred thousand bass fishermen and, and uh, not to discount the walleye and sauger fishermen, but there's a, there's a small percentage compared to bass fishermen. This could be a money maker for us and I think we need to consider helping them do what they need to do to get this on the road pretty fast. Thank you, Mr. Cox. Is that, are you through, Chief? I'm done. Thank you for your presentation. That ends the uh, Fisheries Management Committee. Thank you, Commissioner McMillan. At this time, we will go to uh, our Budget Committee, and that would be Chairman Harold Cannon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The committee recognizes David McKinney, uh, Chief of Environmental Services, regarding a budget expansion related to U.S. Geological Survey. Committee Chairman Cannon, Commissioners, the agency would appreciate your consideration of expanding budget 7746 in the amount of $22,000. These dollars come from a settlement agreement with utilities over water quality issues on the Harpeth River. And part of that settlement was to have USGS put in a proper gauge uh, system so that we could match up contaminant burdens with the amount of flow in the river. There are no state dollars, no TWRA dollars in this project. Thank you, Dave. Uh, you've heard the proposal from Environmental Services. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Second. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Dave, thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have a budget expansion for the Conservation Leaders for Tomorrow program. Uh, Chair recognizes Barry Summers. Thank you, Chairman Gannon. Um, probably familiar with the Southeastern Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies, and they're collecting money from uh, the states to support a program called Conservation Leaders for Tomorrow. They worked it out with the Fish and Wildlife Service to spend federal money. They'll take care of the match. Of course, the federal money flows through the states, and uh, they've asked us for $10,000. We'd like to support the program, and uh, we asked for, asked for uh, $10,000 from uh, Hunter Education Funds for the Conservation Leaders for Tomorrow program. Barry, thank you. This budget expansion uh, contains no state funds. Uh, you've heard the proposal. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Barry, thank you so thank much. You. Uh, committee recognizes Ken Tarkenton for our financial report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I presume I can put this down. We'll see. Life is, oh, well. Hey. Save the worst for last. That's what you get. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> we have a, a two-page report. Uh, financial report. It's in your book. It's, it uh, covers the period through November of 2014. At the top of the page, the uh, voting fund uh, income is approximately 5% less than the same point in time last fiscal year. The expenses approximate 27.4% uh, of the annual allotment. Middle of the page, the wildlife fund is uh, uh, about two-tenths of a percent uh, less than where it was or, or where it is in relation to the projection uh, or we would call that uh, flat. Also you can see where the senior citizens license monthly sales are 666 uh, for the month and the uh, expenses in the wildlife fund approximate 29 percent of the annual allotment. At the bottom of the page, the two endowment funds are listed. The Watchful Wildlife has $4,700 available for transfer. Uh, the balance is $5 million. And the Lifetime Sportsman Endowment has a fund balance of $38 million. At the top of the page, the uh, Wetlands Acquisition Fund is listed. And we have just over $15 million in, uh, in that fund. We've zeroed the maintenance um, of the uh, wetlands fund out in the middle of the pages we usually do, and the compensation, which is the in lieu of tax, has uh, approximately 424,000 as a balance. Any questions or comments? 
Again, just this will yes, be sir. discussed tomorrow, uh, but the two endowments that we have, the current interest rate that we're able to get on that, and I know that we are uh, limited by where these things can be invested, but what is that current interest rate? The current interest rate, and it actually went up a little bit. Uh, for through the month of December is 0.09%. Okay. 0.09%. Went up from 0.08%. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Ken. Mr. Chair, uh, Commissioner Cox. Yeah, I've got a question. Chris, we, uh, you had called the Treasurer's office, and I saw it, and this is just on the Did you ever get a call back from them? In full force, and I'll give you an date. You would tell me that there's not going to be a dairy bite or any other control on the way that they told you in on the current law or the last one. I'll give you the law that you're working with. I just don't know what the date is. And you're carrying out. I don't know whether you need to ask to push that along or what the reason is. But that's how we would say that you would be doing this. I don't know that it's something that we need to do. But we, what do we need to do to push this along? Commissioner Cox, at our last uh, budget committee meeting uh, back in November, uh, we authorized staff to move forward to uh, advise us as to what options we have. I believe the meeting that Chris is speaking of is the first step. My personal hope is that within the next, I'll say 60 days, but hopefully quicker than that, uh, we will have a report and can bring a recommendation uh, before the entire commission. What's holding you? We'll get there sooner rather than later. Chris, is that something that you can advise us of by email, say, in the next week? I can. Is that doable? I think so. Thank you so much. Any questions for Ken? <coughs> Thank you. Mr. Chairman, that concludes the Budget Committee's activities. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner Ken. And at this time, I'll ask the audience, is there anyone in the audience that would like to address the Commission on any matter? Okay, if not, our meeting will be tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, and we will be right back here. And if there's nothing else, we are adjourned.